Hey there. All right, I got something for you guys. You guys have seen some of my other cooking videos with the Grill Greats product on it. I'm going to put a link to the website for Grill Greats. Tell Brad Barrett I said, hey, right about here, okay? Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to show you why you need Grill Greats if you don't already have them for your grill. We're going to cook several different kinds of popular grill food, bacon wrap stuff, that kind of thing. You guys, if you don't have grill grates on your grill, you're just stuck in mediocre grill territory. So check this out. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and we'll get right to this thing. All right, so here's a grill grate sitting on my Weber Genesis. And you can get the kit that comes with this nice little tool forklift fits right in the grooves and you want one of these these things come in real handy not just for flipping the meat and getting up underneath of it to lift it up but also for cleaning out those grooves when they get a little grungy this is what grill grates are supposed to look like okay you will see them in all the advertisements all shiny and pretty well if you cook on your grill they're not going to stay like that for long this is what you want when these things start getting a little grungy all you really need to do is scrape off the top scrape out the grooves and dump the stuff out in the yard keep on going works just fine so that's what they're going to look like once they're well used and you do want to get the tool with your grill grill grates are available for every grill eggs kettles different sizes uh, of your actual of your gas grills charcoal grills whatever they got a size for everything and they can custom make it if you need something weird all right, just a real quick close-up here. You're going to get the sales pitch if you look at any of the videos on the Grill Greats site or check out some of the YouTube Grill Greats videos. Uh, this is a review video, not a pitch. But what these things are actually doing is turning your grill into an infrared. The heat develops along the extruded aluminum and concentrates it on the tops of these rails where your food is sitting. When the juices drip down, they drip into the grooves, sizzle back most of the juices, and fuse right back into the meat makes everything on the grill better and it stops flare-ups which is very important you guys will see with some of the food we're getting ready to show you you won't have any more flare-up problems that you're used to having with grill grates on your grill all right we got the grill up to about 400 I got a little marinated split chicken boobs you guys that have done chicken breasts on the grill before you know how dried out they can get you won't have that problem with these I'm going to show you. So smack those right on there. You can use cooking spray on the grill grates. They'll season up pretty well. Uh, but I'll still use some cooking spray on there just to make sure. Get these on for a few minutes here. Let them go for a little bit. We'll give them about a quarter turn. There's a little nugget there for us. Get those on. And if you guys don't have one of these vacuum seal marinators, they're nice too. I'll put a link for that down below as well. All right, the big secret for grill grates is once you got your food on there, you want to give everything about a quarter turn. Get those beautiful grill marks on your food. I'm trying not to block the camera too much, but there's really not much I can do about it. Come on, quarter turn you. And I cooked the split chicken breast kind of hot and fast. I'm running around 400 degrees. So now you're flipped. Now these are split breasts. They're relatively thin. You don't want to dry them out. That's where everybody messes up on chicken breasts. You want to get them off at 165. And that's where this really comes in handy. You can check that's a thinner one. We're already at 145 right there. These will be a little while longer, 140. So they're they're getting close already. And there'll be a link to this in the description below too. All right, let me show you why you need one of these things. These are all on at the same time. This one's ready. It's already at 165. This one here, that one's ready. That right there, that one's ready. This one right here needs a little bit more. Not much. And that one right there needs a little bit more. 
That's where people mess up with chicken breasts. They don't get them off in time. Juicy. You won't get breasts that juicy off any old grill. Only with grill grates. Alright. How many of you guys put chicken thighs on the grill and have problems with flare-ups? Not with the grill grates. Look at that, guys. I've got these things glazed up with this Daigle's sweet pecan garlic sauce. Freaking awesome. They're done. i got to get these off. Now, folks, I'm going to show you what grill grates do with the bane of everything grilled. Bacon. The most wonderful thing to put on your grill and the hardest thing to cook because it always flares up. But not when you have grill grates. Put a couple bacon wrapped. Ouch. Yikes. Meatball skewers on there. Jeez. A few of my favorite stuffed pebbles. When that gets going good, I'll show you. See? No flare up. If you were doing this without the grill grates, you'd already have a four alarm fire. So now that bacon's done and for the perfect sear for your fish. This is flounder. Grill grates won't dry your fish out. Keeps it pretty easy to flip. It makes beautiful marks. There you go. Little stuffed burgers on here. Whoops. They almost look like meatballs, don't they? They're filled with pepper jack cheese. Now these grates are really getting grungy now. Just to show you. I'm going to clean these tomorrow. When they get all built up like this, this thing's done dozens of cooks with these grates since I cleaned them last. So I'm going to clean these up tomorrow and really show you what they can do. So that's it for the grill grates review. There is a link below to a couple of the products, uh, especially that thermometer that I use all the time. You can check that out down there. You guys, hit that subscribe button up there. Give me that thumbs up. Check out some of the other videos while you're here. And we'll see you next time.